everybody, I'm Marcella Dominguez and today I'm going to be talking to you about protecting your trademark once you have that registration certificate and policing everybody else um, in order to protect your name. So I'll start off by telling you that lots of people say, well, I've already received this lovely piece of paper. I thought my work was all done now. That's all I had to do to protect my name and get my name and keep my name and not allow anybody else to use my name. And it's true that the law does not necessarily impose a duty to police, but when you don't police, you actually run the risk of an abandonment or a dilution or uh, in a, an allowed infringement, um, which the court would interpret as you allowing somebody to just kind of take the name. So if that's not really what you want, especially because you've worked so hard to pay a trademark attorney, you've worked so hard in that 12 month waiting period, and you have just agonized about a name for so long, um, you know, that's a lot to risk for um, not policing the name uh, the way you should in order to protect the trademark. So the way in which you want to police is you want to find a third party agency that will provide this policing service for you. They usually do this on a monthly service fee or a yearly service fee, but you will get notification if there is somebody in a faraway land or here nationally or in your state that is using the name that is similar to yours, whether it sounds the same, looks the same, um, and feels the same. So it's so, so, so important to have this agency look out for you and um, essentially be your police. So then when you are notified, you'll be able to decide what you want to do with this information. You can choose to hire a trademark attorney, use the same trademark attorney that you've used for your trademark registrations, which I also do by the way, and you can go to Marcella TM for more information about my trademark registrations. Um, but you can choose to use any trademark attorney that will help you um, analyze the results and decide what type of action is best for, um, for these results that you're looking at. Um, you know, some of the options include either talking with the other party, seeing if they'll stop using the name, see if they're aware of the fact that you have already registered this name. Um, maybe you have to go back a couple steps and actually analyze who was using the name first. Um, you have to find out if they have common law rights in your name. All of these things are best resolved by a trademark attorney who can help you analyze this issue. So in short, you need to decide whether policing your trademark after you have successfully registered the name is something that you really want to do. Like I said, the law does not necessarily impose a duty for you to do so, but you do run a lot of risks of losing that name um, and successfully uh, keeping that name as yours. So talk with a trademark attorney. Um, you can always reach me at marcellatm.com or 1-855-95-TM-LAW. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments in the section below. Thanks. 